personal hotspot lets you share your phone's internet connection with other devices. Think of it like this, your phone becomes a mini Wi-Fi router and it creates a temporary Wi-Fi network that other devices, for example your laptops, tablets or your other phones, can connect to. So why use a personal hotspot? In some places, especially in the public, Wi-Fi is not readily available and you need to connect, say for example your laptop to the internet. So you can tap onto your mobile phone's internet connection and you are good to go. Another reason is maybe the area you are at has a public Wi-Fi and you are trying to access sensitive information on your laptop. For example, logging in to your bank account. So using your mobile phone's internet Wi-Fi is definitely safer than using a public Wi-Fi. In summary, a personal hotspot is a convenient way to share your phone's internet connection with other devices when Wi-Fi isn't available. In today's video, I will show you how to share internet from your iPhone to other devices. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. In today's example, I will be using an Android phone as the other device. Even if you own a tablet or laptop, the process would work in the same way. On your iPhone, go to your settings. Look for the option Personal Hotspot. Turn on the option Allow others to join. Set a Wi-Fi password for this connection. Once you have configured these settings, you need to turn on Personal Hotspot on your iPhone. So how do you do this? Swipe down on the screen to bring up your control center. Tap on the top left section. Under Personal Hotspot, tap on it to make your hotspot discoverable by other devices. So on your other device, go to your Wi-Fi settings. Here you can see under the available networks, Steph's iPhone 13. Tap on it and key in your password and your new device will be connected to the internet. One point to note is that sharing a hotspot from your iPhone will also use your iPhone's mobile data. Just be mindful of your data limits to avoid overusage charges. I hope today's video was easy to understand and do leave a comment below if this video helped you in any way. If you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.